Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the new Speedo Tyvek two pieces. When I was at senior sectionals, every time I walked in the front door of the Federal Way Aquatic Center, this was on a mannequin front display and you guys know that these are like my absolute favorite colors. This is blue and purple like combination. So every time I would walk by I was like it's so gorgeous, I need it. I was so happy to, you know, get a beautiful design, but then also be able to try out a different brand for you guys. I wanted to make sure I got this review out to you guys before all of the summer training starts where, you know, a lot of people are, are now in outdoor pools. As you guys know from my Instagram, I went on a training trip in California about a week after I got this suit, and so I was able to swim about four hours a day in this suit for the entire week, so I really got a lot of wear out of it. I did alternate my Joe Lynn's in there, but I really made sure to wear this one, so I was really prepared prepared for this review. We're first going to talk about the top. This is their Turns Peak Tie Top in like a purple and blue color. Luna, don't bother him. This is $24 on Speedo's website, but it's on sale right now for about $20. And it has this really cool, like, strappy design right in the middle. I know Jo Lynn has, like, a keyhole opening, or they have, like, the three holes, but this one has, like, a little crisscross that I've never seen, and it looks really cool. Now, the purpose of having a little hole in the front of a suit is it keeps water from making the suit billow out because it can go through the hole as you're swimming, especially if you have a little bit more up top, and it does create, like, a pocket it right here. The water can go through easily. Jolin does make a completely solid top and my friends have told me that it does billow out a lot. So I usually get one with either a keyhole or I just get a triangle top. That way there's no chance of anything like billowing out right here. It's not just for design. It also is really helpful when you're swimming. One main thing I did notice is that this is a lot wider than the Jolin tops. So when I am swimming, it'll tend to dig in at the front of my shoulders here. So I just make sure that I pull it in a little bit more and then it feels fine. Either I got a size too big, even though this is a small and I wear the same size in my Jolin tops or they just make their suits a little bit wider to accommodate all body shapes because once I got it adjusted and I figured out that it was a little bit wide and I made sure to just bring it in more while I swam it fit totally fine but it was just something I noticed right when I got in that I couldn't pull the straps all the way out because then it was a lot too wide. If you guys saw my Jolin swimwear review that you can watch right there, it's a pretty old video, but I said that I like to tie my Jolins in the front because it makes them not move as much. If you tie the suit in the back, it can slip up and it can actually rub right here under your armpit. And the first day I wore this, I decided to try just tying it in the back just to see how it would fit if it was any different than the Jolins. And it did rub really bad. I actually still have a very slight red mark from that was three weeks ago. The next day I ended up tying it in the front and since it wasn't slipping up at all, it didn't even hit the rub mark and it stayed in a really nice spot and so I was able to wear it the rest of the week just fine and it didn't rub at all. I even did starts in this and it didn't move around at all, so that was really awesome. <laughs> what are you doing? Luna? If you guys have never tried tying your suits in the front, I really recommend trying it. I actually just had one of my best friends try it yesterday when we wore our two pieces and she was like, if it starts moving, you're going to retie it for me in the back. But I made her try it. First 50 of warm up, she goes, wow, this actually works. <laughs> like, yeah, I told you so. And the trick is to pull one of the straps through the hole. That way it can hold it down. No matter what size you are, it just holds down the suit. But it really does make a difference and I really encourage you guys to try it out. When I went to Speedo's website to get prices, I did see that this is a Speedo Endurance Light and so I do want to check the tag. Okay, it says that it is 51% polyester PBT and then 49% polyester, which are both forms of polyester, but the light just means it's a little bit thinner when you're wearing it, even though it it doesn't feel thinner than the Jolins, but that's just what it means, so there's a chance this might not last as long, and I will keep you guys updated. As for the general fit, I think a lot of companies are now figuring out exactly how to make tie-back tops, so this fit just like my Jolins. Since I found other brands are making their designs a lot better now, I'm excited to try other brands and tops, so those reviews will be coming soon too. I haven't gotten any other tops now, but maybe I'll get another brand through the summer at another swim meet. Next, we're going to talk about the bottoms. The one that they had at the swim meet was just a plain black one, but but I'd never even worn a Speedo bottom before, so I thought, okay, I'll just get a black one and then see how I like the fit. This one is a little bit smaller than my Jolins, but I wear the Jolin full coverage bottoms. This one's more like their medium coverage bottoms, and it fit completely fine. I didn't find that it was too small, but it was a little bit smaller than my other ones, but not in a bad way. I actually wore this suit almost every single day on the training trip just because it sits lower on my hips, and you guys know the two-piece tan when you wear a one-piece, that's like the goal. So this one sat a lot lower on my hips than the Jolins and so I really preferred wearing this one. I just really liked the way this fit better than my Jolins and I think if I were to get another Jolin bottom I would get their more medium coverage ones just because
because it wasn't too skimpy. I even wore this suit with my Jolin tops because I preferred the style of this bottom better. But let's check the tag on this one too. Oh, and I got a size medium in this one, which is the same thing that I wear in the Jolin bottoms. This is the same as the top. It's 51% polyester PBT and 49% polyester. This is about $24. So both of these are on sale. Not everything on their website is on sale right now, but it just so happens that the two that I got are on sale right now. So if you guys are interested in them, you know, I'll have links down below, of course. I have mentioned that with my Jolin one-piece suits, I do get a little bit of rubbing kind of down there and it really doesn't feel good. And since I wore this bottom so often, I was worried that maybe it would start rubbing and I was really paying attention to that and I didn't get any rubbing at all. So this bottom was super comfortable. I really like the style and the fit of it and I would definitely get another one. So since I've been comparing these to Jolin a lot because those are the only other two pieces I have, I'm gonna do a little bit of a direct comparison. The Jolin tops are 35 to 40 dollars whereas the speedo top is about 24 dollars so it is cheaper but keep in mind that this is an endurance light so it might not last as long and i will be doing a swimsuit graveyard in the future when more of my suits start wearing out and i'll let you know how long this is lasting speaking of a lot of you guys have been asking me for a swimsuit graveyard and i wish i could do one but i just can't none of my jolin suits are wearing out my funkita suits are wearing out my amanzi suit isn't wearing out i can't do a swimsuit graveyard yet but when i do i will update you guys on the two pieces as well the Joe Lynn bottoms are $34 to $36 and this bottom is also $34 but the advantage to getting the Speedo suits is you can find them anywhere. They have stores, you can go to Sylvia's, they're at swim meets whereas with Joe Lynn you have to wait for a trunk show or you just have to order them online. So these are a lot more convenient to get and they're pretty much about the same. If you're at a swim meet and there's a trunk show there and there's also like a Speedo shop, if you're planning on getting a Speedo top you might as well get the bottom with it, vice versa. If you're getting a Joe Lynn top you might as well just get a Joe Lynn bottom with them because they're both really great. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I do really want to try out like a tier or an arena two-piece. I think that would be a really great review to do and then maybe I could do an entire video comparing like all four or five brands that I end up trying. That'll be a little while from now but it's a good video idea for the future. <laughs> That's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and leave me a comment down below on what other two-piece brand you would like me to try out next. Which one is your favorite? And subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! Did you hear my shoulder crack? Swimming. Wait, I'm gonna phrase that different. Very easily. I know Jolin, um, Jolin does make a completely covered, a completely covered top. I can't, I can't talk. Actually rub. Oh my, nail got caught. She's playing with the strings of my suit. Come in trying it. What happened there? <laughs> just attacked my foot. Ow! I like their mediage. The mediage? What? Anna's taking my picture in the doorway. Behind the scenes. Who are you sending it to? No one. <laughs>